Hi there, this is Gary Thomas George, student of Computer Science Engineering this semester in Nalanda Institute of Technology, Bhubaneswar. This is my communication video for Microsoft Student Partner 2010 and the topic for this video is Cloud Computing on Windows Azure. Now, what is Cloud Computing? Cloud Computing is a construct that allows us to work on applications and data that actually don't reside in the computer we are working on. Instead, it is stored in a distant location and is accessed through the internet. So, why the name Cloud actually? The Cloud is actually a metaphor for the internet and since this concept of Cloud Computing is revolved around the internet, so then it's the name. Now, the components of Cloud Computing are first, the client computer, next the data center, and finally the distributed server. So what are the benefits of using the cloud? The first and foremost would be scalability. Suppose you want to increase or decrease your computational needs. You don't actually have to invest in new hardware or software for that because it is done by the cloud service provider. And so is the fact of simplicity because you're not involved in the purchase or on sale of the obsolete software or hardware and its maintenance. Now because of this your internal resources in the company are channelized to the work they are meant to do. So this, there's a factor of cost saving as well. Now coming to the Azure platform. Azure is Windows platform for cloud computing. Now it is that for the cloud that is Windows XP for this desktop. Yes, it is like this OS. It's a cluster that is hosted on Microsoft data center that manages the computing and storage resources of the computer and allocates the resources to the applications that run on Windows Azure. Now the Azure is a very flexible cloud computing platform. Why? Because it has support for multiple languages and has popular standards like PHP and XML. It has these three com core components. The first one would be compute, which provides for the computational environment. Next is the storage which has scalable storage solutions and third is the fabric controller which pulls the individual system into the network. Now Azure has support for services like the MS Visual Basic which allows developers to create and publish new applications on the internet. Codex has its support for MS.NET and MS SQL also. These all add the beauty of platform called Windows Azure. Now, what is the future of cloud computing? Now, the cloud computing is at an infancy stage. It's because there are such issues with data security that are involved. But it is here to stay. Once these are sorted out, it will be accepted by organizations on a larger scale. And then, its uses will be infinite and will range from as varied resources like education to even personal data storage needs. That's it for me. Thank you.